backup of your website is only useful if you can restore it. Perhaps you need to change your web host or even move the site from a development server to a live server. To begin with, take a brand new backup of your website. Once the backup is complete, go to Manage Backups and download the backup file to your computer. Now we've downloaded the backup file, we need an additional program called Kickstart, which you can find at the akibabackup.com website. Go to Download. You will find the Akiba Kickstart here in the Backup section. Kickstart is a standalone program. Click Download to download the file to your computer. Here we can see that the Kickstart program is a zip file and we need to extract that. We can see we now have a new folder with all the Kickstart files in. The only one that you actually need is the kickstart.php file. All the rest are language translations. We now need to transfer the kickstart.php and our backup to our brand new web host and to do that we will use an FTP program. I am going to use FileZilla but you can use any FTP program that you like. To begin with, connect to your new server. Once connected, make sure you are in the public HTML or the web root of your server. Now, you need to transfer the backup file from our local computer to our live server. I'm just going to pick that up and drag it across. We now need to take that kickstart.php file and do exactly the same thing. Select it and drag it across. That's it with FileZilla for now, so let's go back to our web browser and go to our brand new website. As you can see, I have a holding page in place to show that the website is coming soon. So just go to the special URL for kickstart.php. The Kickstart program is now running. Kickstart is not an installation program. It is a special archive extraction tool. Click here to remove this message and we can see that it has detected the archive file. We have several methods of extracting the files, but on most good web hosts we can use the hybrid method. Finally, click Start to begin the extract process. Kickstart has now extracted the backup file and provides a link to the installer that was built into the backup. The installer is a very simple process. We begin with the required settings. As you can see, they are all set to yes. If any are set to no, you won't be able to proceed and you need to speak to your web host to rectify the errors. We can now click next. I now need to enter the database connection details that I have got from my web host. Enter the server host name which is usually local host, but that may depend on your hosting, and your database username and password. And finally, the database name that you want to install your website on. This is something that your host will have provided to you, or you will have set up yourself within your host's control panel. And click Next. The restoration process of the database has now completed, and we can click to continue. We now have the opportunity, if we wish, to change the site name and the email address. In most cases when you are restoring a site, you won't need to do this. If we scroll down, there is also the opportunity to change the password and email address of the super administrator. Finally, click Next again. The site's configuration has all been set up. Close this window to return to the Kickstart program and click on Clean Up. This will remove the kickstart.php file and that big backup archive from your web space. Now that we're done, we can visit our website and here we can see that the website has now been transferred from our old hosting account to our new one.